pasta? The fees, yeah. They should not be feeding you pasta either. <laughs> <laughs> See how they've done everything wrong at the hospital? It actually drives me crazy. They, they feed you all kinds of bad diabetic stuff. Hi, Diane. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm just uh, trying to get my policy number. Yeah. Now, um, Diane stepped on a little tag, right, you said? About five three weeks? Well, oh, five of them, really? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. About, what, three weeks ago, you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it opened up a little ulcer here. And I cleaned this out last week, but she's been busy moving, right? You're moving right now. So she hasn't been able to stay off. So the the the... All the cleaning and all the things just didn't help very much so i'm going to clean it out again today and then i'm going to give her a boot where we're going to accommodate to take pressure off of it and she needs to wear the boot all the time because she's in the middle of moving and it's hard to stay off right right yeah and there were tacks that my boyfriend threw at me what 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 was it there were tacks uh -huh. tacks that uh -huh. he threw at me uh -huh. and i asked him to please stop throwing those things at me and he keeps just kept on throwing them and throwing them really? until i stepped on him and um and he bled and then it opened up mm -hmm. like this huh right, yeah nothing. wow sorry to hear that but you're, you're bleeding well so that's that's good right okay thank you yeah so how, how's your diabetes these days it's okay. I had my, um, also in the struggle of many different times that he's tried pulling me out of the house, my, um, my top denture fell and it broke and I just got it back. So I oh, really? was able to do a lot of chewing. Oh, really? <laughs> what, what's your, what's your diet like these days? It's good. It's much better from when I got out of the hospital. Uh-huh. You eating all the good stuff? Yes, much better. Mm hmm well you're in the middle of moving so how do you how do you eat well it's kind of hard no um no when you have the hospital and you're doing the three times a day and eating the right balanced amount and mm -hmm. it's a lot easier mm -hmm. which hospital were you in okay so what were you what were they feeding you uh a diabetic diet really mm-hmm like bread and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> really? Real good stuff. Real good stuff. Just wheat bread, like half a slice. And, really? Yeah. Did you know that you're not supposed to eat bread? No, I thought wheat bread was okay because they were mm. giving it to me. They just give me half a slice toasted. No, because wheat bread is is bad bread because it's supposed to be better, but the way they make the wheat bread, mm -hmm. it's not really wheat. They just kind of it's a fake wheat. So people are thinking, oh, it's really good for us, but it's not. If you go to Europe and have those, um, you know, the, the, the bread mm -hmm. made by grains, they need a meat cutter to cut it because you can't cut those. That's how hard it is usually. Oh, sorry. Okay. You're bleeding really well, so I'm just going to clean up on the edges, okay? Okay, doctor. So it's really important for you to not eat any bread okay, right now, doctor. okay? Because we're trying to heal this thing. If your sugar's up and down like that, then then it could be a, you know, problem for this to close, right? Oh, sorry, you're a little okay. sensitive there, huh? Sorry. And then what else? Are you soaking it too? Or? Yes, I was soaking it with the Epsom salt. Epsom salt, okay. So no bread. And then what? What is your um, lunch like? What do no, you eat for lunch? Salad. Salad, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're eating well. You like salad? Yes. Mm-hmm. And then what do you like for dinner? Um, usually um, like turkey, uh -huh. mashed potatoes, uh -huh. small portions, uh -huh. and like green, uh, uh, green bean or uh -huh. things like that. I like green beans and asparagus. Uh -huh. What else were they feeding you at the hospital? Um, Sugar-free jello. Really? Mm -hmm. Those are really bad for you. I know they, they give you those. Those are terrible. They use artificial sugar mm -hmm. instead. Those artificial sugars are very toxic to us. It has no sugar, like it doesn't raise your sugar, but it causes all kinds of other problems like cancer and things. Oh, wow. I know, it's terrible. 
So Donitos, but you're not at the hospital. What else? What else? I want to expose what the hospital foods are like these days, which is terrible. <laughs> like they give you diabetes orange. when you go to the hospital. What is it? <laughs> what else? Half an orange. Orange? Yeah, you shouldn't be eating fruit <laughs> when you're in the hospital. <laughs> they're, they're like doing exact opposite of what they should be feeding you. It wasn't a very good hospital. Yeah, there's little, actually the, the hospital is, is nice, is, but but I don't agree with a lot of the the diabetic diet that they propose. I, I, don't, I don't agree with it. What else were they feeding you there that was really taste good but not good for you? <laughs> <laughs> I should say. Um, um, stroganoff. Stroganoff. Mm -hmm. Pasta. Mm -hmm. Pasta? The beef, yeah. They should not be feeding you pasta either. <laughs> <laughs> See how they've done everything wrong at the hospital? It actually drives me crazy. They, they feed you all kinds of bad diabetic stuff. Oatmeal, cereal. Yeah. With milk? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, they should not be feeding you milk either. Milk. They didn't do any wound care there either. No? No. They didn't call in any foot doctor mm -mm. to take a look, really? Mm -mm. That's kind of surprising. And the air conditioner wasn't working. Oh, really? It was really hot, too. Awful. There was like 100 Back degrees. Then, yeah. Wow. Overall, bad experience at the hospital, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. But your wound looks really good. I think if we can take pressure off this thing, I think it would heal. Because I just cleaned out all the edges right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you you eat a lot more vegetables, reduce the amount of um, bread and pasta or none, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you, have, you can have some meat, but you have to remember if you eat a lot of meat and then your body uh, needs need certain amount of protein and then after that, it turns it into sugar. Okay? okay, so if you eat too much meat, that turns it into sugar as well. So you have to be careful on that as well. I, never heard of that. I know these are the things that most most uh, diabetics don't know. So it's very important to know know the nutritional part of the whole diabetic formula, which you know actually not many people are talking about. So so we're gonna give you a boot. I already kind of accommodated. I'm gonna show you over here. This is the Part of the boot it's going to go inside i already built in a uh, little padding here so that this is going to take pressure off this whole area because i know you're moving so you can't stay off so we're going to give you a big boot to walk on okay okay good. and then i want to see improvement by next time i see you okay mm -hmm. i'm just going to dress it now it bleeds very nicely i'm going to put some medicine there and then you're going to be soaking it every day and then um, put a little bandage on it like this okay and then you're gonna stay off as much as you can okay okay doctor. okay very good i'm just gonna put a little little warm layer just to keep the bandage on I'm gonna, we'll fit you the boot so that uh, it will take pressure off, okay? Okay, okay then. So, um, how, what, uh, how many times a day with the Epsom salt? Just once a day is good. Okay. Okay, and then a little antibiotic cream and a Band-Aid, okay? Mm -hmm. And then use the boot all the time whenever you're standing, mm -hmm. okay? Very good seeing you. Okay, we'll see you next time, okay? Okay.